guys, Thunderstud here, and today we are going over more Super Heavy Samurai, except this time we're going with the free-to-play version. That just means we have very few of the box cards. We only have one Benki, we only have one Samurai Wagon, one Soul Piercer, and just one Peacemaker. So we're really uh, leaning on things like Big Waraji, we got Flutist, we got Giga Gloves back, and our normal Trumpeter plays. We got a few new equips that you can get from just dueling our boy. But there's even more support. There's more support you get from facing the character at the gate. There's more support that was just older in the game that never saw use. There's level up rewards that uh, you get like magnet and stuff. So there's so, so much super heavy samurai support. And there's tons of skills to help it out. Now we're using heavy strong style which gives us more bank keys in the deck. So uh, there, there's just so many options. We're not even going a bunch of the equips. So there's plenty and plenty of ways to uh, to build this. Because where's the? there's a whole nother Super Heavy Samurai I don't even have. I'm trying to find uh, this guy. Yeah, I don't even have this guy. Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. When this card is normal summon, change all positions. Doesn't really matter. Uh, if a super heavy samurai you control battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation, the opponent's monster's attack and defense become zero. So uh, he's pretty useful too. You could get him straight from the drops. He's a level three, so he could work like a flutist or a giga gloves. Obviously, he's not core. We don't need him in this version. Just tons of depth in super heavy samurai. I did not realize the. Uh, what you see here with the two Benkeys, one of those Benkeys are from the skill, so it's still a 20 card deck, but uh, we add a Benki. That's weird. I forget that they show you skill added cards when you're doing the screenshots kind of thing. But yeah, so what you're seeing here is the correct deck. We only get that second Benki from the skill. It's still free to play, so uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. And thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a set of Kaiba. We're going first. We're on a two-win streak. He's on a three-win streak. So let's see who will prevail. Spoiler alert: It's most likely me. So uh, we're starting with the wagon. Easy duel, easy life. When you still start with your one copy of wagon, why not? It's in your deck. Let's bust them out. Use our one copy of Soul Peacemaker, and then that's a first-turn Benki. We have a cannon if we want him. We got a cutscene. The whole shebang. All free to play. Super, super deep archetype. Super heavy, obviously. Super heavy is super deep. And we start with a Benki. I think we do put our cannon on him. Now he's 4.5k. Stopping even a Neo's Neo Blue Ice. Very good. Now we get a Fortress Wall. We go with the Waraji. We put the wall on him. Now check this out. This boy's gonna enemy controller my boy to attack. We still do a thousand damage. Now this boy do, does 3,000. He hits us with a mirror wall. A mirror wall does not lower defense. He's only able to attack in defense because we have the Benki out. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Crow Hogan. We're going second. He's got Crow Sleeve. He's got Crow Mat. He's playing Crow. This guy is ready to crow. So we got a Waraji, we got Trumpeters, we got Gloves. Top deck Wagon, we don't even need Wagon. We go Flutus into Gloves. We're going to start with Trumpeter. That's Musashi. We do have the Flutus in the Graveyard. Gloves lets us change the order of our deck. Musashi gives us Trumpeter. Floodgate hits Musashi, but... We have Haraji. He's able to special summon. Trumpeter's able to special summon. Turn's not over yet. Turn is not over yet. We still got our stealth ninja. And we're able to hit him for 2800. Now the turn is over. Our boys draw sense dark. Draw sense dark in a black wing deck. What does that possibly get you? Could someone explain that? to me. But anyway, he goes Gale and a Kraken. We do not use Flutist on the Gale effect. We want to use Flutist 
on the right Kiri effect, but I have a feeling he's not going to be bold enough to hit the stealth engine. He doesn't. So, we continue our turn. We obviously have a top deck of a wagon. Perfect comeback, especially with this fortress. Because this boy is about to get dunked on. We didn't need him. All we needed was the wagon to dunk on him. Because the Benki was more than enough alone, but now the Benki with the fortress, we could honestly dunk on the Raikiri and still hit him for lethal. So this boy's days are numbered as the big boy Benki hits the field super heavy. We're about to get even heavier with the wall, 4700, then we just swing right at that boy. And it's a dual great great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing an Akiza. We're going second. Using a heavy strong style. That's why it looks like we have two Benkies, but we don't actually have two Benkies. The skill adds the second Benki. Uh, Neos Fusion. We should dunk on this deck relatively easy with our super heavy. He's got Buster Blader in there still. Defense position slash dragon. Sets a card. You'll see why it's defense here in a moment. We're gonna normal summon gloves. Special summon trumpeter. He's going to show us a spike shield with chain, so we really can't swing over that boy. That's over 5k defense. Way over 5k defense. And we got Giga Gloves changing the order of our deck. We got Trumpeter head back to our hand. So we're not going to fight this Slash Dragon. We can't fight this Slash Dragon. This counts as an equip card. And his defense is 5.7k. It's pretty much impenetrable. Unless we get more equips. But we're only at 4k. We're just going to go to 26k. 2.6k I should say. And then hit him for that much. Now he's going to try to swing at us. But we're 4k so... He, he couldn't really do anything there. And then as simple and easy as that, there's nothing he can do. We just stealth ninja once again. He's showing us the return of red eyes. There's nothing he can do. All we gotta do is swing. And that's exactly what we do. Great crazy stuff. Alright, here we are facing an Odeon. He's using no extra deck over there. Life point boost. We're showing him that heavy strong style. Starting with wagon again. So, uh, pretty easy duels when you're still starting with your one copy of wagon. Because wagon is a one card Benki. We're going Soul Piercer and Peacemaker, so really just all the regular combos. As if we had copies of these great cards anyway. Search a cannon from the piercer, add the cannon, now we're super strong. Here our boy go, look at that, look at that, the one card we don't want to see. How are we supposed to get rid of that with our mega strength? She'll just turn our strength against us. We just gotta use one of our weaker boys. We're gonna use our flutus, bring out our gloves, that's gonna trigger a chaos hunter, no big deal whatsoever. Now we special summon Trumpeter, that's Musashi, we'll use his effect, but we're gonna stop here, he's only at 2300, he's our weakest synchro, that can destroy Amazonist Swordswoman without KOing us, we have 200 life points left, we keep our biggest boys, this boy is going to lightning vortex us like a straight animal, but obviously we have Wagon as a one card comeback. We search our horns, now we go Trumpeter, and it's already over. We just need a 2500 Synchro, which Shogeto is exactly now with him able to attack twice. That should be a lethal amount of damage for our Odeon boy right over there through life point boost. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Silvio. We're going first. 24 cards. He's using that Neo New Silvio style. I think that means it's Yosenju's, right? Oh, that's our skill. Yep, Yosenju skill. So we're gonna start with Flute. We put a Piercer on him, then we tribute him to bring out Gloves. That's gonna give us the search. We go with Trumpeter. Trumpeter plus Gloves 
equals Musashi, and we also get a change the order of the deck with Giga Gloves. And add Trumpeter back to our hand to continue the synchros. Here's Trumpeter once again. Stealth Ninja. And we call it a turn. So he sets just one card. Shouldn't be too tough for us. We get a top deck of a Benki. Guess what? Warashi counts as two tributes for a machine. So Warashi counts for Benki. He's a single card Benki. He's super easy to special summon. That's why he's such a great card. Just like Flutus, except Flutus is a little better because he gives you that protection from the barrier. But uh, still just as easy. Thank you will flip himself to defense when you normal summon him, so he's always going to be attacking. He's always right up there. He's using that Neo New Silvio style, which, uh, I, I don't know, it gives him a field spell or something. Or yeah, the Oroshi channeling, so now he brings out two. Brings out an Isna, then Synchro, or a Pendulum summons an Isna. Not sure why he's uh, bringing on all these Isnas. Probably wants to draw, but he brings out the Dybok. Dybok tries to hit Stealth Ninja. We say no way, buddy. With that Flutus, he destroys one of his Pendulum instead of his monster. That way, his monster's still able to swing. But guess what? You forgot to ease none. Poor fool. You Pendulum summoned him. That means he does not go away. We top deck the wagon as if we needed it. Great, great stuff, guys. So, uh,. Yeah, free to play, no problem. It's just such a deep archetype. This isn't even all of it. There's cards I've straight up left out. Super rare cards I've straight up left out. So I mean, there's tons to the archetype. Build it as slow as as fast as you want. It's gonna be competitive. It's been competitive even before this box. So it's probably a very, very safe investment. Let me know what you guys think about it, and thanks for watching.